Welcome to Christian Nutrition on TV, the show where I really haven't made up my mind how I want to open the episodes with because they're all out of order. Hey, I found some more episodes. Yeah, I felt like the opening was going to be a bit cheesy and it probably was, but I'm legit excited to find more of these lost gems online. I thank the brave souls who do their best to recover these lost classics. And I thought, why not start with what is actually the best part of a bad episode? And that is Dr. Jiggle, Mr. Sly, which was of course part of, you know, Snoodle's Tale. You remember Snoodle's Tale, don't you? I'm really peed about how lazy a Snoodle's Tale was. And I hope that we don't ever see it again. Yeah, got a lot of comments on that one. Anyways, let's get back into this. Let's review Dr. Jiggle and Mr. Sly on TV. I can't wear sweaters. Too itchy. Tried wearing a shirt underneath? Huh, hey, that's a good idea. Had Paw Grape really never thought about that? It does make me wonder why Archibald is wearing a sweater when everyone else is basically nude. Maybe he just enjoys high fashion. I was at the popcorn shop yesterday and some of the kids are making fun of my tooth. What's wrong with your tooth? Nothing, except I only have one. That's a moment when Larry ponders life's greatest mysteries, like why he only has one tooth. Don't you think it's a little weird for a grown adult to only have one tooth? Yeah, it's a little weird for a cucumber to have teeth at all. Bob speaks the truth. Veggies really shouldn't have teeth. Neither should fruit. Have a slaptastic day. I don't even know what that means. It means have a slaptastic day, Bob. It's pretty simple. I tell to everyone I know. It is I, Paco the Storytelling Mule. Yeah, the return of Paco. Louis the Short Neck Giraffe was thusly named on account of his unusually short neck. A bit on the nose, but it makes sense. So Louis left the giraffes and went to live with the hippopotamuses. Hippopotami. The hippos. I like hippopotami better, but I guess we can go with hippos instead. Ooh, we gotta be correct about what we're saying. So Lewis got on his bike and rode to a fast food restaurant where he bought a cheeseburger. Cause you're his cheeseburger, his yummy cheeseburger. He'll wait for you, ooh, yeah, he'll wait for you, ooh, oh. I don't remember where I was going with this. Well, I feel a lot better. What? That didn't make any sense. Yeah, it did. The giraffe was tired of being made fun of, so he got a cheeseburger. The end. Pretty self-explanatory, Bob. Dr. Jigger and Mr. Sly. It's that creature in the alley. There is something wrong with his appearance. Namely, that he looks like he's from the 1970s when clearly the story is taking place in the mid to late 1800s. And what's this? The monster is afoot in Dr. Jiggle's house. Oh no, it is about to get Saturday Night Fever up in Dr. Jiggle's house. Whoa, was that a hand? This has to be terrifying children nationwide. I don't even know how to comprehend it myself. You've an intruder, a detestable disco dancing villain duck through your back door. You must mean Mr. Sly. Mr. Sly? Man, can that guy dance or what? Yeah, didn't I tell you? You're in cahoots with that creature. It is true. Mr. Sly is a monster. I, I know I could never dance like that. I mean, just look at me. I'm too jiggly. But for what it's worth, my portly girth only served to make folks giggle. Wait, are you telling me that Dr. Jiggle just froze time? That's impressive. Or is this more like where it's in a play and everyone just freezes while the character sings a character reflection song? That's probably more of what's going on. But I like to think that Dr. Jiggle knows how to freeze time. I want to die. I want to grow. This is some Disney level music going on right here. I want to dance. What was I saying? Mwah! They pulled that off beautifully. Mwah! 
After that epic song, Dr. Jiggle assures them that Mr. Sly is a great guy and that they would really like him. Butterbun asks to meet him and Dr. Jiggle says that is not possible since Mr. Sly is such a busy man. Butterbun then tells Larry how he is going to catch Mr. Sly by being Mr. Sneak. <laughs> Seriously, what is going on here? Someone has some explaining to do. <laughs> ah, I'm gonna have a heart attack. Where are these human limbs coming from? Dr. Jiggle. Oh, uh, good evening, gentlemen. <laughs> Oh no! Alright, you flashy fiend! Never turn off a man's music. That's how people die. <laughs> well, that's not a kind response. Just because he's overweight doesn't mean that you should react in such a cruel manner. Dr. Jiggle then explains he has been taking dance lessons. It is really his lifelong dream, but he was just afraid people will laugh at him since he is fat. A fair point considering that he just got laughed at for being fat. Everyone ends up accepting him as a dancer and wants to dance with him. The end. And now it's time for Silly Songs with Larry, the part of the show. Stop! Stop! Don't even think about it! And now it is time for Classy Songs with Larry, the part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a classy song. Interesting. Let's see if Archibald is on to something here. One day, while he was waiting for the trolley, he had a hat. My high so cat. I bet that others wish they had in fact a hat. Is this a hat? Is that a hat? So, so high, 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 Oh, Mr. Art Bugatti, now what do you think of that? Larry loves his high silk hat so much, but eventually he reaches a crossroad that has him covering his chocolate with his high silk hat. Then a squash sits on it. The end. That was amazing. Seriously. Is there anything this episode could do wrong? I hope you feel better too, Stacy. Well, that's all the time. Huh? That's not all the time we have? Nope, you actually have like three more minutes, which is unusual. They're usually cramming these VeggieTales episodes into 22 minutes. Not, not like, oh, we have all this extra time. That almost never happens. Well, this is awkward. Hey, someone's here. Hi, Bob. Hi, Larry. Episode ruined. It's the French peas singing about the bottom of the sea. It has nothing to do with being special. Well, sure it does. The bottom of the sea is a very special place. Jeez, I've never heard Bob sound so desperate. The French peas. Ah! It's happening. Ah! Well, the French peas are officially dead. This is a sad time in all of our lives. Uh, if the funeral's this Friday. If you want to go, comment below to RSVP. There's a hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a hole. There's a hole. There's a hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a what at the bottom of the sea? We can't just be sitting on this vital information. We have to tell everyone. The world's gonna collapse. There's a flea. There's a flea. There's a flea on the wing. On the fly. On the frog. On the bump. On the log. There's a hole in the bottom of the sea. Three things. First off, is 321 Penguinception a thing? Because it might just be a thing. Second, and this is a fun fact, that picture of Lyle was originally a picture of a toilet. In fact, you can quickly see the bottom of the toilet picture when they close up on the peas in the next shot. Lastly, if Junior is getting sucked into the bottom of the sea, then I can actually live with that and I encourage it to happen. How do you sink a submarine full of peas? I don't know. How do you sink a submarine full of peas? <laughs> Your boat has not left the driveway in 15 years. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Uh, thanks for coming to my house. See you next week. Goodbye! Bye. Hey, Bob, do you have any teeth? Well, sure. Sometimes when I smile, I have a whole mouthful of teeth. You have a mouthful of what? Where do they go when you aren't smiling? I don't really know. They just go away. That's pretty special. Let's call it what it really is. Pretty freaky. Well, that is it for Dr. Jiggle and Mr. Sly on TV. And as usual, Paco, 
he makes the show. He always makes it better. And aside from that blatant time filler with the bottom of the sea clip, I mean, the episode was solid. So good job, VeggieTales on TV. You didn't completely waste everyone's time. Next time is a bit of a mishmash of an episode as they're pulling from two separate episodes. First up, we have that Three Stooges parody thing where they're where they're like taking the piano up the stairs and Bully Trouble, you know, where Junior gets bullied, which, which was pretty good. It is kind of a weird combo, but whatever. Remember that God made you special and he loves you very much. Bye.